Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Monday, October 17th and the first one was shared by Yasin who's trading S&P 500 and as you see here, he sees the rejection of the price in this uptrend at the area of the resistance and as you see here, the red candle shows rejection and it comes to the trading charts a smaller charts which is one minute charts and see it as a breakout here and this can be seen in a tick chart which is a trading chart and entry uh, 1000 tick as a channel and he takes the downtrend uh, portion after the uptrend uh, portion that was taken before and enters here and exit related the strategy number one as it's shown here and that's according to algo one to five and Yasin send the video separately thank you Yasin for sharing your trades with us the next trade was shared by Easy, and he's trading also S&P 500 in form of CFD using Forex broker you see that in one hour macro charts he took at the breakout level using five minute charts and entered properly as you see after breakout here in this area and uh, took uh, majority of the swing from this portion till the next level of the uh, resistance area and that was his trade you can see again a breakout here in macro chart again he went to the smaller time frame one minute and re-entered that and took again another trade with profit thanks easy for sharing your trades with us and the next trade was shared by castro our global instructor showing that uh, when he saw on micro s p futures uh, breakout uh, he entered properly here and exit and took profit uh, and already uh, trailed profit so much and is reaching the target here uh, three targets here so thanks Castro for sharing your trades with us the next few trades were shared by Yan or global instructor trading micro Nasdaq futures as you see macro is in uptrend is forming a wedge and it's kind of choppy now reaching a resistance area and uh, it shows kind of uh, red candle here that is coming down to retest the previous support area so he sees a breakout in this structural time frame and after this breakout and again rejection of price and retesting the resistance which becomes support which becomes resistance now he's taking the pullback of the short positions repeatedly and managing the trades manually and also with the ATM and these are record of live trades fast forwarded so we see his trades and management by ATM and these are all of his trades and as you see again re-entering every pullback till the momentum is lost now we're reaching close to the previous support area and the momentum is getting less so we see if it reached the target or close it manually one position close manually atm adjusted at break even two position with profit and the third position I came out with a small profit again reentered here short position added to the position and now ATM is managing that uh, looks like buyers are getting a strong and momentum of the sellers are not so strong we'll see if it closed with profit yeah so now we are at the previous support area these are all his trades as you see he reached profit factor of 99 
from 19 trades with almost 100% win rate and average win to loss ratio around 6.6. .6. Thanks, Yan, for sharing your trades with us. These are a few of my trades at the beginning of New York market session. As you see, there was uptrend here. You see here that I repeatedly took long positions. Now that the sellers are back, I stopped trading because the range is expanding and is not very trendy and volatility is increased. So that was enough to trade this channel, which is now very wide and volatile and is not tradable based on our trading plan. So I stop here. So I came back again when market became trendy. And uh, as you see, this channel was again uptrend based on I'll go one to five. I took several long positions. These are some of the trades at the end of New York session market. And uh, as you see, it's a little bit choppy, but still uptrend. And I'm taking long positions here and let the ATM manage this properly. So we're reaching close to the previous resistance area and momentum is getting less. So I let this trade to be managed uh, by ATM and close it manually here. And we're really close to the previous resistance area. You can see it on the macro and also trading charts clearly. So this is the resistance area, so I'm not taking any more position. As sellers are coming back and volatility increase. So thanks for your attention and have a wonderful day.